Okay, so Grace and I are having lunch. We just ate some calamari. We're just about laid waste to the deep fried booty roll. And this is potato roll. Here, here's my hand to give you a sense of scale. This thing is huge, that's enough for four people. So we had the lady just, I mean, we just told her, just bring us boxes. I mean, we know we're gonna need boxes. <laughs> so um, anyway, we've been working all morning. I finally got everything into storage, I'm so excited. And um, I'm tired and I still have to go to the DMV. But until then, I am going to eat some of this marvelous sushi. Leanne, honey bunny, I wish you were here with us because this is your kind of spot. Look at the neat stuff they have hanging up here. Every, all those t-shirts represent someone who's finished off there. They have some special zombie type drink that if you finish it off, you get your picture on one of these t-shirts. This place is neat. It's kind of a su sushi sports bar kind of place. So anyway, we're digging it. We're digging it. Aren't we digging it? We're digging it, so I'm turning this around. Um, I'm assuming you can see me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm practically brain dead. I can't even think of anything to say, except for that um, I was really, really hungry today. So I'm, um, I'm having restaurant food, and I'm really loving it. So I will just talk to all you guys later. Bye. Listen, in your, in your morning medication bottles. I mean, your have the day of the week and there's always going to be two for morning and two for night. You take your two in the morning and you take your two at night. That's what you have to do. Okay? Well, that, that did, you re, did you remember to take it um, and yesterday? There is there. I put it there. You, you, you've got, I put all your medications in your little container when I was there the last time and there's enough to last you to Sunday. So if there's none there, that means you can take them at the wrong time. Well, why don't you take your medicine, Mommy? You know you're supposed to take it every day. Yes, you do. You know that. You've been doing it for three months now, ever since you moved in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mama, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Looks like you got a little pucker belly there. I know. Her body parts are getting pretty well destroyed. Oh. Poor little thing, but you know what? By golly, she's been around as long as I have. Yes, you have. You've been around. You've been around since 1959. Because they got you for me the year I was born. Wow. That makes you one old plastic doll. Have you have you considered um, a transplant surgery for her hand? No, I'm gonna let her be special needs. I was a little surprised to find you washing a baby this morning. I know. Well, you know, you don't pay that much attention to what goes on around here. We could have five kids, and you probably wouldn't even know it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think about that little special needs baby with your with your collapsed stomach and? Hand that's missing. Yeah. What kind of a dad is this? No one. Well, it's my fault. It's because I kept you even lying out in the dirt for however long. Oh. She wears my the little dress that I wore when my mom and dad brought my sister home from the hospital. Because mm. I was about this size. Not right, you know, baby. Shut up and wash off the soap. Probably should have just put her in the shower. Well, you can do the rinse in the shower if you want it. Good idea. your legs and feet. We'll have to do something about that nappy hair. Baby got nappy hair. Sounds like a song. Oh, she's got a, a anatomically correct ass. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah.
How often do you give her a bath? Um, never. <laughs> it's the first time in 50, 55 and a half or 50, almost 56 years she's had a bath that I know of. Look at the missing hair along her hairline. Yeah. Poor thing. Did somebody yank her hair out there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the bugs ate it. Maybe she could, you know what she might like is a wig. Would you like a wig? <laughs> Okay, dirty baby, you're going in the shower. Well, so I'm sitting here. I have to use multiple computers. And Mia um, loves to sit in the most uncomfortable spot she can find. See, I'm working on our icon for the road trip. And so I just put the computer on her, and she seemed fine until just a minute ago. Not too happy now. Says, I'm not too happy now. What were you doing putting that computer on me? Poor baby. Well, it was actually pretty comfortable. It wasn't too heavy. It was warm. She was digging it for a while. 